What's going on everybody on YouTube with SVT Baskets back at it with another video back at it with another bang -a man in today's video we're gonna be talking about my Jordan wall clock let's start the show I'm on TV oh shit first cops now this oh man I'm be a star son welcome back everybody to another video if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like and that will be greatly appreciated. But without further ado, let's get started with this video. If you don't know by now, I'm SVT Vasquez and this is actually a car channel. Now, because of the whole situation that's been going on, uh, I haven't ordered any parts. A lot of uh, car part places um, are closed down and they aren't doing any shipping for because of what's happening. But uh, before all this uh, events took place, I have been working on a computer room and this is the part that I'm mostly excited about in my uh, videos. So um, other than cars, my first passion was obviously, uh, if you can't tell by now, shoes um i got into shoes of, at a very young age because for one it was more affordable than buying a car or car parts and for two i didn't own a car till i was 18 years old so my very first passion was actually shoes i got into shoes at a very young age so i haven't really bought any anything too hyped uh, we're gonna be going over the clock right now i'm gonna show you guys how i made the clock happen and uh, all the components that I went uh, went behind by uh, making this clock. So let's go ahead and start. Okay guys, so before I go over the entire um, 12 shoes that I have up there, let's just get started with the clock itself. Uh, I ordered it on Amazon. I believe it was around $25 or something like that. Now it did come in silver, but because my wall is gray and the hands were silver, I spray painted it red to make the hand stand out and this is exactly how it looks so it has a very good contrast against that gray paint and it's fairly simple to install uh, there's just a little pin that you pin up to the wall and then you hang uh, the clock on the pin and that's it nothing really uh, too difficult about that it also does come with a stencil to um, show you which way each number goes. Uh, what I did is I extended that stencil to make it longer so that the whole clock could fit my wall. Uh, let's get started with how I made floating shelves and we'll sh I'll show you how I made those. And, uh, we already pretty much have the shelves created but I'm just gonna be walking uh, you guys through um, how we made these so works open up the show so what we did is um, we pretty much cut off about an inch of the of the shelf and then drilled some holes through it once you drill some holes you're gonna cut off a piece of wood that goes through the holes and they just insert into each other like that uh, so this part, the back piece, you're going to drill into the wall. Once that one's uh, in place on the wall, we're going to insert the front piece and it's just going to hold together to create something like this. Alright guys, so now that you saw how I made the floating shelves along with my brother, I appreciate his help very much. Uh, let's start with the shoes I have up here. So the ones I have up here are the black toe ones. And I do have the bread ones, but I think this uh, colorway is way cleaner. I like the way it looks a lot better and I find myself wearing this shoe a lot uh, more than, than I do my bread ones. Over here is the only uh, the only two I actually really do like this is the infrared two, and as you can see, it's very bright. I don't see, I don't ever, I haven't ever seen anyone else wear it besides me. 
Um, I do wear my shoes and for the purpose of the wall clock, I did clean the bottoms. So if it looks like I haven't worn my shoes, I have worn them. You'll notice it in uh, other pairs more than these. So over here we have the cement threes. And uh, I don't even have to explain why those are up there. Those are probably my favorite threes. Here we have brand new. These just came out. Bread fours. Haven't worn them yet uh, because of this whole situation, but they'll get some wear soon. Now down here, I do have these. I don't even know what these called are called. I've been calling the Gucci mains for so long just because he wears them in his video when he came out of prison. Um, and this is a very clean shoe to me. As you can see, I do have the wolf gray uh, fives and they are yellowed and these actually look a lot like the off-white fives that came out and I don't really care for those but these are probably my favorite fives the wolf gray fives I wish they re-retro re these I have the infrared sixes here as you can see these are brand new as well my girlfriend actually bought me this for my birthday so shout out to her I have the Cardinal 7s. Now I do have other 7s, but I figured uh, these were the best ones to put up here. Now one of my favorite shoes is the Aqua 8. Uh, when they first came out, when they retroed back when I was in high school, this was a very hot shoe. Everybody bought it. Um, it flew off shelves, but this new retro that came out nobody really uh purchased it and it's sh it sat on shelves i could see you guys still being able to purchase this on the market for not nothing over retail so uh, as you can see they have been worn i do wear this shoe a lot it's one of my favorites but moving on now for the space jam nines so these i don't really have a favorite nine to I just needed a 9, so what better 9 to get than the Space Jams? And if you could see, this is kind of my beater shoe. I wash my car and I do car work with these shoes on. Actually, a lot of shoes I get, I get in my car videos and some people cringe at me creasing or using my shoes to work on my car and it's pretty funny in the comments. Uh, these are the nickel, uh, the double nickel 10s and uh, one of my favorite colorway in the 10 so I had to purchase that up here we have the Space Jam 11s those are my favorite 11s I did have the bread 11s I didn't like them so I sold them I didn't get the Concord 11s either don't really care for them uh, I do have the playoff 12s but I wore them during my military career and I beat those things to the ground. So the best shoe that I have to replace it is the French Blue 12. Okay you guys, so now that you see my setup, I am not the first one to create a setup like this. As far as I know, I am the first one to break it down how it's made. So I've seen other YouTubers try to make this setup, but I believe uh, the first person I saw with this was the game. He does have a YouTube video up uh, going over his shoe collection at his home and he does have a setup like this. Uh, there's a, another YouTuber that does have a setup as well, but his room isn't all that great. He has a white wall and uh, the thing about his room is he has holes all over the wall from him trying to create this clock and what you have to understand about this clock is that the when you first put off the shelves you're gonna want to put the shelf itself on the number but the the number isn't gonna be the shelf it's gonna be the shoe so you have to find the middle of the shoe so from the shelf about three to four inches to the middle of the shoe and that's gonna be your number so when you find the placing of the number Put the shelves three or four uh, inches down and that's how you get a cleaner perfect look and I didn't have to re-drill uh, re any of the holes on my shelf so I don't have holes in the back and having it look all out of place uh, it's a very clean look 
these floating shelves. So if this so if this video helped you guys to want to create something like this, hit that like um, on the video. If you would switch up any of the shoes up here, what what would be the shoes that you would put up instead? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, if you want to stick around and see the complete uh, review of my gaming room, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting uh, I'll be buying more things for my room. I'll be working on my cars as well. So until next time, peace. I'm just all about this money. I don't think about no thighs. No thighs. Girl, you don't know about me. So me. get off my fucking D. My Born D. and raised in the thigh. This is real as you gon' see. You see. Girl, you don't know about me. So me. get off my fucking D. Get off my